Saturday's quake happened around the same area as a massive tremor five years ago. Already more than 4,000 aftershocks have been reported. There are now speculations over whether the quakes occurred naturally or if China's prized Three Gorges Dam played a role. Geologists are now once again debating whether dam construction in China has led to a proliferation of earthquakes. Sichuan Bureau of Geology and Mineral Resources spokesman Fan Xiao told the Global Times, quote, Large reservoirs built on the fault line can induce earthquakes as the huge amount of water adds huge pressure to the fracture. It's called reservoir-induced seismicity. Although not universally accepted, the idea is that large dams create a water column with enough weight to add extra stress to fault or fracture lines, creating seismic pressure that is eventually released in an earthquake. If the theory of reservoir-induced seismicity does indeed hold water, that could mean big trouble in China. The country already has more dams than the rest of the world put together. According to a 2011 Chinese study, the Three Gorges Dam triggered about 3,000 earthquakes, as well as numerous landslides, representing a 30-fold increase in seismicity. The epicenter of the 2008 Sichuan quake that killed at least 70,000 people was only about three miles from the Jipingpu Reservoir. The Jipingpu Reservoir is located on the Longmingshan Fault Line, the same fault line as last Saturday's Ya'an quake. So can these large dams built on fault lines cause earthquakes? That's a matter that's still being debated. But with deeply rooted Chinese beliefs associating natural disasters with the impending fall of a dynasty, even if it isn't seismic, pressure is building.